Hello, good morning, everybody. I am just pinning my email address because I want you to send me an invitation to get a little bit of what I talk about in a PDF. So it's a wonderful morning, a little bit on the chilly side. And so, so I decided to drop in and have a chat with you. It's Monday morning, it's on Wednesday morning, a beautiful and amazing morning. Nice weather. It's nice and cool everywhere you look. And here we are. So today is Wednesday, the 13th of October. A beautiful morning to get a little bit of an arm, a little bit of energy to start the day. A little cup of tea, very hot, but tasty, just to start the day. And here we are, day 13. But it's, that's not all there is to it. Today, when you woke up, how did you feel? How did you feel about yourself? What did you say to yourself this morning when you woke up? Did you look at yourself in the mirror and go, yes? I know I am here. I feel good for being here. I have something special to do today. I have something special to offer the world today. There are beautiful and amazing things coming from me today. I have another day to polish up and do better than I did yesterday. So how are you doing? What it is that from yesterday that is still weighing on your brain? What it is from all of those days ago that is still weighing on your, on your brain? How can you shake it off? How can you shake it off? You sometimes have to shout it off. So we cannot take yesterday into today. Today is a brand new morning. You notice the sun was coming up, the clouds are doing their thing, the wind is blowing a little. Things are just alive this morning. The birds are singing, the animals are scurrying around because today is a special day. It's a new day. A new day to do new things. A new day to show up. A new day to realize you have a choice. A new day to choose, a new day to be grateful for yourself, a new day to polish yourself, a new day to look at yourself in the mirror and see the beautiful things that was created to be uniquely you. A new day to inhale and breathe, a new day to say, wow, I am here. A new day to just be grateful, to be alive, a new day to try, a new day to step up, a new day to do better than yesterday. A new day to say, I love being alive. A new day to say, it is wonderful to be me. It is wonderful to have these things in my life. These talents and gifts that are inside of me. This joy that I feel that's flowing through me. It's a new day to share who you are. It's a new day to step up into you. It's a new day to realize other people's opinion does not define you. What somebody else thinks about you today does not define you. That is their thought. It defines them. It shows them who they are. That's okay because it's okay for them to be who they are. It's not okay for you to take it and think it's good for you. It's not good for you. It's not meant for you. It's meant truly to themselves. So one of the things you have to realize is that People's, other people's opinion has nothing to do with you. Somebody's thoughts and action about you, whether they think you're strong, you're weak, you're naive, you're stupid, you're not enough, you have no brain, whatever people think of you, it does not define you. It only defines you, them. It tells, them where, it tells you where their thoughts are. It tells you that they have nothing great to think about themselves, except to think about you. They cannot find the greatness in them. They cannot see the uniqueness in them. And that is sad. That instead of trying to stay on themselves, they're busy staying on you. That's not right. That's not amazing. That is limiting. So you have to realize that people who hurt, it's because they themselves are hurting. They are disappointed. They did not open their boxes. They did not see the gifts. They never used their talents completely. They choked their own talents because they were afraid of losing. They were afraid of failing. So when they see you shining, they need to take you down. That is what they believe. You have to stand up for yourself and realize, no, 
your behavior, your thoughts, your words, your actions, your face, your attitude, how you look at me, none of that defines me. I am a unique, special individual. I have gifts and talents that I can spread all over the world. So when somebody is at you, screaming at you, yelling at you, telling you all what is wrong with you, you must remember one thing. They cannot see what is right with themselves. They always also see what is wrong with them. So when that happens, when it comes to you, when they open their floodgates of negative thoughts, words, actions, or deeds, whether they put it on Instagram, whether they tell it to your face, whether they tell it to a friend and a friend tells you, it really doesn't matter because it does not define you. You don't pay attention to it, you leave it alone. You let it stay there because you see, this morning when you woke up, you decided you were beautiful. You decided you were smart. You decided you had something to offer the world. You decided you enjoy being you. You decided that everything about you is unique and special because that's what makes you stand out to be the amazing you. So it doesn't matter what comes your way. You've already claimed who you are. You already said, I am this. You already go into the mirror and you greet yourself and you say, there you go. Where have you been? You talk to yourself. That was the first thing you did. You said, good morning to yourself. And you greeted. I haven't seen that face since last night. It's so nice to see my own face in the mirror. You know, this is what you have to do. You have to step up and be happy that you are existing because you are this amazing and wonderful human being that was created specifically to be you. So somebody's opinion of you should have does not define the life you're going to live today or ever. So step into the day and let's see what it brings. Today is day 13 of 31 days of gratitude. <laughs> wow. Sometimes, you know, we jump into things. We see things happening around us and we just let them go. But the other times we jump into them. And I wonder what it is that makes us feel that we can jump into what is happening right now. And that is where awareness is important. The more aware you are of what is happening around you, the more times and the more occasions you have to be grateful. Gratitude is the amazing thing. As I always say, I'll say it for 31 solid days and another 31 days. No, that's not what I'm going to do to you. <laughs> but every day, there is an occasion to jump into something that is amazing. Every morning, there is an occasion to choose how you react to what is happening there. Gratitude about your, what you're capable of doing or what you're able to do and what you do for others and what you do for self today is strictly for self. Your morning blessing is to be grateful for what you do for self. What did you do for self? Did you stop self from losing your cool yesterday? Did you stop self from saying something nasty about somebody yesterday? If you did, give yourself a, a lovely greeting. Say yes. I am grateful I, I came to the brink and I pulled back. I'm grateful I had a nasty thought about somebody and I realized, no, that's going to take me down. And I pulled back. That's what it is. To This morning blessing is for every nerve and sinew. Every emotion you took and you're taking, just be grateful and pat yourself on the back that you stopped yourself from going over the edge, that you did not go down the rabbit hole with the negative things. Your friend called you and she when he was ready to take you into that circle of negativity. And when you saw negativity standing in front of you, you said, hold on. This is not my path. I have other things to do because I know for sure what I think about is what I become. Nobody is going to become it but me. You know that. You've done it. You've given yourself that medication. You are hybrid. Hybrid does not meddle with little things. Hybrid stay up high. Hybrid raise them, the, the, the level and they stand up on top of it. 
You have so much to be grateful for in you. You have to be grateful for every strand of hair on your head. You might not miss one, but you will miss a hundred and one. So you need to make sure you're grateful for that. We're starting at the top and we're going all the way to the top. I want you to think of it. Think of your head. It starts with the hair that comes from the inside. If you have two hairs on your head, be grateful you have two. That is where gratitude, be grateful you have it. We are being grateful for self. And look at your, look at your brain inside there. Breathe some energy into your brain right now. Breathe and let the breath when you exhale hit your brain. Let it clear the cobwebs that get us all to forget little things or where we place something. Be grateful that you can remember where you left your reading glasses this morning. Be grateful you can remember where you, where you put your rings when you took them off to wash your hand. Your brain is still working. It tells you where to go. Be grateful when you came back and you look at your sinuses, they are cleared. Be grateful you can breathe through your nose. Be grateful your nose is not stuffed. I know it seems mundane and it looks stupid and I should get something better to do, but it's okay. I just know if the, the sinuses are blocked, it's uncomfortable. You might get a sinus headache. So if that sinus is open, be grateful. If it is blocked, breathe into it and ask it to open. Look at your eye. You can see some people have cataracts, right? But when they take it off, you can see better. So are you grateful for that surgeon that had that steady hand to work on those eyes that are irreplaceable? Be grateful for the surgeon or the eye doctor that told you what you need to do to keep your eye healthy. Be grateful for the eyes that we have. We can see each other. Be grateful for the reading glasses that I need that I can see what you've written. So be grateful for those reading glasses that we keep misplacing every day. Be grateful that we're coming down and we realize we have cheekbones. And sometimes they're, they're sore. Why? Because the sinus is a black, big block. Be grateful that you can put your finger and release the pressure on your, on your sinus and let it, and so you can breathe. Open your mouth and your gums are healthy. Be grateful you have healthy gums that are holding on to your teeth. Be grateful for the teeth that you have. Be grateful for the, the ability to go to the dentist and get a cavity filled. Be grateful your tongue is loose and you remember to brush it this morning. Be grateful. Be grateful for the words that comes out of that mouth of ours. Be grateful that those words are going to help somebody live a more fulfilled life. Be grateful of the our air. We are able to hear. You can hear me. And you do not need a hearing aid. But if you do, be grateful there is a doctor that told you you need one. Be grateful you had the money to buy it. Be grateful you had it as benefits. Be grateful. These are the things we walk on, we use, we stamp on, and we are not grateful. Be grateful for that neck that holds your head. Be grateful for the shoulders that allow you to stretch and pick something above your head. Be grateful for that chest of yours. Be grateful for there is no mucus in it today. There is no pain. And be grateful for that thing that goes thump, thump, thump. That heart that pumps blood. It's millions of gallons of blood constantly. It never stops. Be grateful for it. When it stops, we know it is going. And we are going with it. Be grateful those valves are clear. Be grateful the blood is soaring through and you're breathing. Those lungs. There's those lungs that we get, we have to clean our house until it cleans and we buy all sorts of chemicals to kill ourselves. We do. We use bleach that suffocates us. We use chemicals that is not necessary. Our lungs is taking the blow, taking the blow. We inhale, we smoke. Okay, it's an addiction. But we have to be grateful that we are able to see if we can get it, if it's not hurting us. If it is harming us, that we can stop it. 
So you see, look at those hands of ours. A lady in New York on the subway said, when her face was impeccable, impeccable, sitting on the train in New York on the subway with this impeccable made up face, the wrinkles had left the village. There was no wrinkles, there was no dunes, there was no sand dunes, there was no car, um, what do you call that? Cra uh, not cavities, you know what I mean. There were no craters on that face. A beautifully made and taken care of face. The action of looking at her face and then looking at her hands made her ears, made her speak. She spoke and she said, my dear, I was told to take care of my face. I was never told I should also take care of my hand. That's all she said. Because her, her hand showed her true, how she used it. Her hand showed what was going on. Her face was impeccable sitting on a train in New York City. So when you look at her face and you go down to look at her hand, she noticed the gesture. She noticed the action of your head. And she said that to us. I was told to take care of my face and I ignore my hand. So when you're finished applying a cream, a lotion, a potion, an oil, whatever you apply to your face, it's in your palms of your hand. This is what you do. You put it there. Be grateful you can move those fingers of ours. We are going down through the body, the elbows, the wrist that is working. Be grateful you can feel your fingers and it can do things for you. So this great gratitude today is strictly for your entire body. Be grateful for that body of yours. Be grateful as you're going down. We, have, we touch the lungs and the hearts so and we have the kidney and the spleen and the liver and we abuse those organs. We put things in our stomach that actually make us sick. We knowingly know we shouldn't have it, but you know what? The taste in the mouth. The taste buds are telling us, come on, have some more cake. Have another piece of cheese. You know you're going to be bloated, but you cannot resist it. Have another drink. So be grateful for these organs that are churning. You are not telling them to churn. They take the food, they crush it up, they send it up. They do stuff for you, for all of us. These organs of ours are working night and day to keep us alive. When last did you visit them mentally, emotionally, and say to them, thank you. Thank you, liver. Thank you, kidney. Thank you, lung. Thank you, heart. Thank you, spleen. Thank you, intestines and bowels and all of that. Thank you for elimination. There is in some cultures, when they enter the bathroom, they use their left foot. When they're done with elimination, they go out right foot first. Why? That is the sign of gratitude that they were able to do that. That is what it is. If we do not eliminate, we get sick. So be grateful we can. And, and I can twist it. When you give what you know and you teach what you know, this is elimination too. That's why you feel better. So if you know something and you teach me or you teach somebody else, that you're working like your body, the best machine that was ever created. It is better than the cell phone. Our body is better. It's the machine, the greatest machine ever created. You ingest and you must eliminate. Knowledge you ingest and you must offer it to others. Do not hold what you know, your wisdom, your knowledge, and what you know will help somebody. Be grateful you can give it, that you have the, 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 the wisdom to say, you know what, I know how to do this. Let me show you how. This is what you should do. So now you're, you're using your mind to work like the biggest and best machine ever created, the human body. And it brings us pleasure. We're going all the way down to the toe. Our, our human body brings us joy and pleasure, maybe for a few seconds but we do not forget it. We all get it, we all sick for it. We have legs and thighs and muscles that move and if they don't move, we know we aren't going anywhere. Acknowledge those legs, acknowledge the areas in your body that gives you great pleasure. Be grateful for that. Be grateful for your thighs and your knees and they work and they bend, be grateful. 
for your calves and the flowing of the blood that keeps going. You, you're not pumping it up by yourself. You're not getting it and saying, come on, move it. This is not your job. It does its thing itself. So be grateful it serves you. Be grateful for those ankles we abuse by our six inch heels. Or we put shoes we know that are too small. We put our feet in too tight a pair of shoes because we want to look great and we are grimacing. Be grateful that your foot is not um, flinging the shoe right over your head. Be grateful that it takes the pain. And you come home and you sit and we rub our toes together because we're saying, oh, that shoe hurts so much, but I look great. Be grateful for the, what we do to our body. I remember designing a wraparound skirt and a top. <laughs> I came home, I drew it, I drew it. <laughs> drew the pattern, the, the picture, made the paper pattern, took out the piece of silk, made that wrap skirt and a nice top to go with it. And I decided the best thing to do that cold February morning was to dress in a silk outfit and go to work at a bank that is completely open. If you ever go to the Tilly Bank at Young and St. Clair, when the wind comes through, it is just an open bank. I am there. <laughs> My cousin called me and she said, how do you look in your new outfit? I said, I look amazing, but I'm freezing. It's cold and everything is cold and freezing. But I said, I look great. But I told her. So can you imagine my poor body and a little silk top, long sleeve though, and a skirt. In the middle of February in Toronto, what was I thinking? That's what I mean. Be grateful that everything still survived that day. I was freezing for the entire day. So that's what I mean. We have to be grateful for the abuse we give to our body that the body still function. Right? So that's what gratitude for self is. Take it down. Let's go down to those toes. When last you look at them? When last you cut them? When last you had a manicure, pedicure? When last you did that? When last you treated them with respect? You lose one toe. I lose one toe. We lose one toe. We are off balance. We are not going to walk properly. So you see... That body of ours, this is the thing we must be grateful for. Those things, the, the fingernail that didn't break when you grab the jaw, you knock it against it. Be grateful. Turn to it and say, I'm so grateful my fingers are still here. Because we abuse our body. And yet, we only miss things. We only realize our body is not responding when it actually shuts down. It's like you go to the well for water every day and it never occurred to you that one day the well will be empty. This is what we do to our body from our hair to our toe. We abuse that human body we were given. We live inside of it. So we are burning our own house down while we are in it. Really? Does that make sense? But that's what we do. So be grateful for that body. Spend, even if you just say, today I'm grateful for my teeth. I'm able to chew. So be grateful for, that's when I said, this 10 days is grateful for you. Grateful for you, the human being, your capabilities, what you can do for others, how you can help others, how you can serve others, how you are able to be there for others. But most of all, I am asking you today to when you're lifting your hand to take something way above, when you're stopping carelessly down the stairs, stop yourself and realize, I am grateful that I am able to go up and down those stairs. And I am not asking you to say the thing I ask you not to say. Please, when you're being grateful for all your functions of your body, do not go to the dark place. By saying, I am so grateful I can use my hands. My friend is not able to brush her teeth. Don't go there. That is not gratitude. That is comparison. If you're going to be grateful, be grateful and leave your friend alone. Your friend is going to be grateful. Maybe she can do something you cannot do. Leave them alone. If you know something that would help her, give it to her. 
or tell him or tell her. But no, do not say, I am grateful I have a fridge full of food and my friend doesn't. Or I know somebody who doesn't have a one bed sitting on a grid in the city. No, no, that's comparison. Stay within your limit. Stay where you are supposed to do and, and think of self for a change. Do not think of you being fortunate and they being unfortunate. Do not think you're better than another person. The Deserata has told us so. There's always going to be greater and lesser people than us. So stay within your lane and be grateful for what functions your body can take. So this is your morning blessing today. It's like I was fighting with you, but I just realized, so I do it. So often we all do it. We stop. And we are not grateful for our own self. We are not grateful for self, but we are grateful, if I remind you, for a cup of tea. Most often we are grateful for the big, audacious things. And something, we are not grateful for the company we work for. But you know, I can never say anything about TD Canada Trust. Without them, I maybe would not be standing here today. That I know for sure, because they paid me to work for them. They paid me, they, pay, they paid to educate me in certain fields, and then I can use it to come and talk to you about your money, these things. So you see, I am grateful for them. So be grateful for where you get your paycheck, even if it's uncomfortable. But if that paycheck has a service that it performs for you, do not forget to be grateful for it. And tomorrow morning, we'll talk about gratitude, about what it is that is existing for us. So send in your light and joy. Have an absolutely amazing and fabulous day. Remember to be grateful for every step you take and every move you make because you have to make sure you acknowledge your actions. Um, at quarter to one, I have a live with somebody called MJ. I think she's interviewing me. That should be fun and exciting. And then tonight, we have our 7 p.m. show. So I hope to see all of you here. And I did pin my email address for one purpose. If you want anything from the morning blessings, any uh, I have PDFs on the morning blessings, which I can send to you. Send me an email and I will be happy to send it to you. Send in your light and joy. Have a great day. Let's see what your comments were. So good morning, Loretta and Aman. How are you guys doing today? Hello, Trava. Trava training. Hello, good morning. Thanks for joining. Hello, Arita. How are you? Hi, Jeannie. How are you this morning? Hi, Ma Hi, Marina. Still packing? How are you this morning? I saw that hairstyling. That's a what. How are you this morning? Good morning, everybody. Ginny. Gratitude. Ginny said, gratitude makes you glow. You walk differently. You talk differently. And above all, you see differently. You think? Oh, my God. That is so true, Ginny. I choose to write my today's word because of you, Tess Mary. It's titled An Attitude of Gratitude on my page. It is. You have to develop that attitude of gratitude. We all need it. You have to be so aware of the tiny things. These are the ones that grow. You know, the tiny drops of water fills the bucket faster. It stays longer than a big shower. Good morning, Yuko. How are you this morning? Hi, Teron. How are you guys doing? Hello, I'm Aunt Teron. He's talking to him. When you are feeling like things aren't working, Arita says, when you're feeling like things aren't working out for you, gratitude will remind you of how many things you have and uh, that are working for you. Okay, that is true, eh? That is what I do. When I feel the lowest, that's when I find more reasons to be grateful. I, that's how I do it. If something isn't working, that's when I step up and I say, I'm so grateful. I am grateful that this is going. I'm grateful for this. And I look around and feel and I'm grateful those fingers are moving. And you see, that is so true. When you are grateful, you have to be more grateful when things are not going right. My mom used to say that all the time. Butterfly. Hi, Butterfly. Oh, thanks for joining. 
And hi, Pavely, how are you? I hope you had a beautiful birthday. Guys, it was Pavely's birthday yesterday. It's how our, how our filtration system works. It is, isn't it? We must be careful, Tehran says. It's amazing how our filtration system works. We must be grateful, he says, for all those involuntary actions that the body does so beautiful and efficiently round the clock, you think? <laughs> Rachel Butut, hello, good morning. Welcome to the Morning Blessings. It's a place where you come to get energy and thoughts. A little bit stingy sometimes, but it comes to you with poise. It comes to you with some wit. It comes to you with a little sting. And it comes to you, of course, with a large dashing of romance. The Morning Blessing has four, part, four parts to it. It is delivered with poise and dignity. It makes you feel good. That's it. So you get some poise, you get some dignity with the morning blessing. And of course, we have a large dash of wit. And then we bring you a tiny sting, something that shocks you and say, whoa. And then we take you down the valley of romance, where the words will fill you up. You'll feel good. And it feels like you're being romanced by words. That's the morning blessing. So if you come to the morning blessing, know you're becoming a part of a wonderful family. And when your mind or your body nudges you to press the button, it is time for you to come. There is something here for you. Because the morning blessing always gives you a nugget, a gold nugget, or a rare black pearl. And sometimes you will get an actual rare pink Canadian diamond. It's your choice. So what did you get today? It's always, what did you get today? So if one day you, you woke up and you found yourself here, listen to your thoughts and see if you're going to find yourself here again. And if you do come, do not let it go. Because that one little thing you came to get will carry you through the rest of the day. So very true. We don't acknowledge and appreciate all the functions of our body until it runs down. That's what Jeannie said. Slow down and give gratitude always. That is what Rachel said. Thanks for joining, my dear. This is a nice saying. Compassion, Tehran says, can get us to, to drift from our... Comparison, sorry. Comparison can get us to drift from our path. It does, because we are so busy looking out the window at what people are doing and we are not thinking about ourselves. Rachel Bhutto said, If I take the garbage out and feel the warm sun, I will stop in my tracks to close my eyes and give gratitude that the universe allow me to see and feel the sun. Wow. This is great. Join us again. You have some lovely things to say. Thank you for reminding me about TD Bank. I need to give them a call. <laughs> Yoko said, Thank you for reminding us not to compare. Be grateful what we already have. Of course. That's what Yuko said. That, Tehran, that is great that you shared your email. No, well, it is because sometimes somebody wants a, a little, just a little, you know, what happened. Oh, and I have something that can help them. So Arita is wishing, and everybody wish part of you happy birthday. She is, I sang happy birthday to her, and you know I have the most beautiful singing voice in the world. That's not, that's not true. Then the only blessing from some cake. <laughs> follow me. I love this. I can't wait for the next one. Thank you for joining, Raquel. Love and light and magical day to you all. Thank you for joining this beautiful family of ours. Cyrus made it clear to me. I didn't know we have a... When he did the interview with me, he said, the community you build is amazing. And I didn't think of it as that. I just... A family. You guys are so sweet to each other. You come, you're greeted, you talk to each other, you wish each other happy birthday. We... You know, you offer so much and you're pressing that button. That is such a privilege I have that you guys choose to come and listen to me. And I am doing it because I know I do not have any other choice but to deliver what I feel, what I know, what I receive. Every day I get a gift. Every morning I have a tiny gift that comes into my lap. It's usually a string. It's a thought. And we all get it. Each and every one of us gets that gift in the morning. Some people get it as a little, a little pin. Somebody get it as a needle and thread. Somebody gets it as just a thought that they, they cannot put a finger on how it's coming. I get a thread. 
it's just about this long. And then I pull on it. I dig, I, I question it. So what it is? What do you want? Why are you here? Where are you leading me? And I pull it. And at the end of it, I always find my morning blessings. At the end of it, I always find what I deliver at 7 p.m. So we all get one. We all get one of those. And if you have one of those, make sure that you take care of it and look at it. The more you practice at following those little inspirational digs that come to you, the more they're going to come and the better for you and you're more able to use them to make them work for you. Remember, when you get to heaven at the end of the journey called life, you're not going to be punished for the things you did wrong because at least you tried. You mightn't have had the information. You remember what he said on the cross, forgive them for they know not what they do. So you already got this. This is covered. You were forgiven for the things you were doing that's wrong because maybe you wouldn't talk better, you don't know better. But you know what you will have to answer to? The opportunities and the chances you were given and you did not take them. That's the question you're going to be asked. You're not going to say you're going down to the abysses of hell. If you believe in Jesus Christ, then there's, you're not going there. He said, I paid the price, right? Any God will tell you, I came to help you. I don't care what religion you belong to. So when you get to the end of your life, wherever it is you're going, you, you are not going to be punished because you did not, you did something wrong. You did something. Right or wrong, you did something. And you were forgiven for you knew not what you did, if it was the wrong thing, right? But why didn't you follow those strings? Why didn't you open that box? Why didn't you take the gifts that were given to you and use it? Why did you bury it? Why do you, did you do like the man that went away and gave talent, talents to his um, followers, his employees? Why did you behave like the one that had won and buried it in the ground? That's the question. It's not, going, it's not hell and damnation. It's that you had a choice and you were given talents. Why didn't you use it? Why didn't you use your gift to tell somebody how to behave? Why didn't you use your gift to tell somebody how to manage your finances? These are the questions that we're going to ask. You had it. Why did you keep it to yourself? Why did you hide it under a bushel? Why did you cover it? Why, why were you so selfish with the things you were able to do? This is the question. Why didn't you try? So send in your light and joy. Have a wonderful day and open your boxes. I'll tell you guys the story of the boxes tomorrow. I hope I, it comes with the morning blessing because you have boxes. Each gift, each challenge, each thought, each inspiration to do something is a gift and it's a box and there are different sizes. You must open them. Sending you light and joy. Have a beautiful day. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Oh, no, I should make a read. I'm sure you guys wrote something. Tehran, send them on in fan. What did Tehran say? Fam, summer cake. I love this. Can't wait for the next one. Okay, we are, we are here every morning at 8 a.m. Thanks, Tehran, Jenny. I look forward to seeing you and everyone else on here every morning such a wonderful and inspiring way to start the day thank you again tess marie thanks um genie thank you i'll be here good for you so hope looking forward to seeing you oh no mistakes i'm so glad i tapped my button thank you for all your kindness <laughs> no mistakes hello cyrus how are you long time haven't seen your face no mistakes you're not going to be punished for mistakes but because you try you're going to be punished for not trying it's not a punish. You're going to be asked why not. We're so grateful for all our lovely mentor, Tessa Marie. Thank you. Hey, George, just remember by Tessa LOL. Anyway, everybody, have a beautiful day. We're gone. We're gone into 40 minutes when we should be doing 20. Um, I'll see you guys on the other side of the day. So have fun, everybody. And talk to you guys. Don't forget to open your boxes. Follow those little tiny strings. Pull on them. The, the miracles at the end. Right?